Alright guys, this is going to be a cool tutorial because I'm going to show you guys how to build a very simple program where you can download an image from the internet. So the first thing I want to do is import that random again and that's because whenever we download an image we're going to be giving it a random file name and saving it as that because we don't want to um, um, let, so let's say we were downloading like all the homepage images we don't want a bunch of files named homepage.jpg in our directory so I'm going to give each one a random name and um, whenever we build our web crawler that's what we're going to do as well and we're also going to be importing URL lib dot request now this is a package that allows us to get um, data from websites pretty much that's a really simple explanation and also I want to mention this if I'm ever using a module that you're like oh hold on a second um, you didn't tell me how to get that or where I'm supposed to get that from or what it does I'll explain that right now whenever I have a module in here that, here that you're not familiar with go to file settings and then if you go to your project interpreter these words are hard to say project interpreter on the left what you can do is this is the section that allows you to download modules from the internet so these are the ones that I downloaded right now so say that we wanted to add another one or install another one click this little plus button and you can search for all of them right now now usually you know exactly what one you're going to download so if you start typing the name I'll download like here's one I'm familiar with um, beautiful scraper right here just select its name and hit install package and then just sit back and relax that's what's awesome about PyCharm this entire thing is built in the entire module was just installed and whenever you want to use it we can just import it right like this and of course if you accidentally downloaded one by accident or you were playing around with it and figured out you didn't need it file settings the interpreter and then just select it and hit this minus sign and that'll say that'll uninstall it basically so pretty cool but now back to the tutorial so again I'm just gonna build a real simple function to go to some um, website download the image so def download web image and the only parameter that's going to take is just the URL of the image of course so the first thing I want to do is I want to generate that random number just like we did in the last tutorial so this is going to be the name so I'm going to store it as the variable name and of course if you remember random dot rand range and I'll just uh, say one to a thousand so all the images that we download are going to be like 256.jpg um like 16.jpg so on and so forth and this is um not the best way but for this example it'll be simple enough to follow along so now what I want to do is whenever I download it of course it's just going to be stored as a number right here and obviously what I want to do is add that jpeg extension on the end so my computer knows that it is indeed a jpeg image so full name will be the full file name and of course we take that name which is a random number one to a thousand and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on the dot JPEG extension now remember before I said that Python doesn't really like when you take a number and add it to a string so we need to convert this name variable to a string and in order to do that just put str and this is a really simple function that takes a number and converts it into a string so now we're working with the same data type now the full name would be something like 500.jpg so the only other thing we need to do one more line of code in this function is download the image and of course that's where we imported this so in order to use anything from this module type the name of the module which is URL lib dot request and the function is called URL retrieve now if you see it's going to take a couple parameters here the first one is the URL of the website that you're going to be downloading from pretty much um it's like going to be HTTP um, Bucky's room org slash Bucky's face dot JPEG something like that so we're going to be passing it in the function so that's what the URL is and the second parameter it takes is whenever we save this or download it and save it to your computer what do you want to name the file 
Well, that's why we created this right here. So download this image and save it as this on our computer. So that's all this function is doing right here. So now what we have to do is just write download web image and we need to pass it in a URL of some JPEG on the internet. So actually if you just go to any site then um, I'm not going to show you how to do that but it's all the same but don't go to like a random site and say hey Bucky told me to do this because it's probably against their terms of service but if you just want to practice then you can just go to Bucky's room find one of my images I'm on my uh, profile right now click view all photos and let's find a dumb one to down oh, this is pretty dumb alright so of course in order to get the URL of this you can just right click it and hit copy image URL and of course this pretty much is the URL of the image on the internet. So now, back in our program, what we can do is remember to pass it in as a string. What we're saying is basically download this image. So it's going to download it, give it a random file name, and then save it to our computer. Now, it's going to download in the same directory as our program's running. So check this out. This is my main project, YouTube, and this was the module from the last tutorial, and this is where the program is going to run. So right now we only have two files, main and tuna. But after we get done running this, we're also going to have an extra JPEG in here. So keep your eyes on this while I run it. So check it out. You see how it just said 286, a new file just popped up. We'll double click that and boom. Pretty sweet. We just downloaded an image purely through Python programming. So just imagine the power of this we can download a crap load of images in the snap of a finger if we only knew how to write a simple web crawler. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have to look forward to in the next tutorial. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.